Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Odin Sphere, Lithrasir. In the last episode, well, um, we, we got a princess and a castle and a, a bunny. What do you want? I'm not afraid of you. I don't think you really have a reason to be afraid of me. Here, I will not allow Lady Gwendolyn to be used. If you mock my position as her caretaker, I'll make you pay. Oh, God, you're so cute. Look like I really like the... I really like the designs of the pukas in this game. There are so many and they are so adorable. Like, look at that. They just look so, they're just so well modeled. I like them. Or, I don't know if this is even a character model, per se. It's a little bit confusing, really. Anyway, I do believe we're going to be fighting in the back alleyways. Is this Titania? I'm assuming it's Titania. So, um, yeah. We're going to be fighting a whole bunch of crap. So, let's get it started. She won't wake up, no matter how long you stare at her. I know. It must be the spell. Yes, but if you kiss... <gasps> oh? So that's how to wake her. Please. You mustn't. Princess Gwendolyn disobeyed the King's orders in order to save someone very important to us. Thus, she was punished, regardless of her own mind. Her fate is to fall in love with a total stranger. But that is too cruel. Indeed, it is. Huh? You won't kiss her? But didn't you come to take Princess Gwendolyn away? I would like her to love me. But not in this way. People are not objects. Oh. Still, it breaks my heart to see her like this. I must find another way to break Odin's spell. You are too... <gasps> Looks like I'm not too late. Move, coward! Gwendolyn! Tell Odin that the three wise men of Titania have his daughter. Wait. <sighs> okay, well that explains why there was such a huge gap between then and now. If we check the actual story, you'll notice we're, we are on this part here, and if you look at Gwendolyn's area, you'll notice there's like a huge lull between her actually waking up and where we are right now. We're like halfway through, not even, like we're like a third way through of her sleep, and we still got like a bunch of other stuff to do before she actually wakes up. And we don't actually experience our part of the story at all. We don't get to see the part of, uh, of, well, we don't get to see anything relating to her at all until we wake her up, which is, for her, it's part it's part three, which is Gwendolyn with her status as Valkyrie revoked, thinks alone on the walls of the old castle, right? So that's the end of Oswald's story. So let it, so what we're basically doing is trying to get her back. It feels like a little bit convoluted, but at the same time, I can kind of get, it makes sense why there's such a huge lull in time now. Also, why are the Titanian royalty fighting me? They don't seem to really have a reason to. Unless they're just a, uh, sent to attack uh, strangers on sight. Huh. It's all very curious. I'm wondering if the, th if the three wise men are the ones pulling the strings in the entirety of the city, and not just in the segments that we saw. Like, if, they're, if they actually have more power than we even actually initially saw, maybe there's something more to all this. The three wise men are the key to all this. They're funnier characters than we've ever had before. All right, actually, let's see here. This one's Titania, prison of the underground waterway. Have a dwarf pass through iron bars. Ah, all right, so there's gotta be a way to shrink myself and it's gonna be in the, in the underground so we don't have to really worry about finding anything until a little bit later. And you're dead. I think I might have over leveled myself a little bit. To be fair though, I was, I was uh, kind of accumulating a ton of coins. 
I really should just be using the grab. It's a lot faster. But it's also, I think it's a little bit more costly. I'm not sure if it does more damage or not, but it's a lot, it's definitely faster, that's for sure. Give me the grapes. Hmm, it's a better draw ring than I had before. It's probably gonna be better than the vampiric ring, that's for dang sure. Uh, luck stone, I think I prefer spirit stone to the luck stone. And the speed belt does make me faster, but I don't think I really want it to be all the time. Um, is there anything else I can actually use here? I guess the luck zone will do. I prefer, the, prefer that to the speed belt at this point. Though I will be a little bit slower overall. Alright, we can go up to get the crystal, or we can go left. Uh, I think we're gonna go left. Alright. There we go. I really should start developing time codes for my stuff too, because I actually don't know when I'm gonna end this episode off. Um... I have to find a map first. That's the big question. That'll tell me how much of this stuff I've actually completed and allow me to actually better gauge where I am and how much more stuff I'll have to complete so that I can split it up evenly. But we do have ourselves a mid-boss. And at least, at the very least, now that we're actually entering Titania a lot more, it feels like we're getting a lot more unique enemies. So I like that. And they're kind of lower level than I was expecting them to be, honestly. Oh dang it, my, my power was low. It's fine, we can just continuously combo them forever. If we're careful at the very least. And as long as I can continuously combo him forever, he shouldn't be able to actually do anything. If I had the ability, because I, I didn't actually unlock it yet, there's an ability that allows me to gain more um, power if I kill enemies, just like uh, I did with the um, with the previous princess that we were using. <laughs> oh, anyway, let's do this. And now that I'm using the pseudo berserker mode, I should be fine. Oh, I can't get out of the pseudo-berserker mode. I have to wait until it wears off. There we go. Cure Coco. And there's a thing over there. Oh, and there's a rest stop down, so if we go there, we might be able to get a map. And maybe gauge out where we are and how long we've been doing stuff. These sessions start to blend together if I wait too long, so... So that's my big fear, honestly, is that, uh, I am... I'm overdoing it slightly. Let's get some healing tonics. I've learned firsthand that I can totally be comboed into the ground. Amulet, let's see, recovery from frog effect, 65% up, that's some luck. Ah, uh, why not? I have plenty of gold at this point. There's no real reason to not do that. You know, I'm starting to think maybe I should just soundproof my room. I mean, if I talk over a lot of the things that I'm talking about, like the dogs barking in the background and all that, I don't think you guys could actually hear it. Uh, it might just be just far enough away. All right, now that we got a map, I can actually gauge out what to do. Oh my god. All right, well, I'm going to try doing everything on, like, this general side over here. Oh, maybe up here first, and then I'll then I'll start making my way down, and then we'll we'll start. Um, but yeah, we've got a lot of we got a long ways to go, and not a lot of time to do it. So we'll see. I need to get this lock open, and to do that, I need to go where over here. All right. So let's see. I think we want to go north, just here, and we're gonna beat a bunch of these really kind of useless guards. Just call them forever! You can't stop it! Just give me all of the Fozons. Give me your souls! Alright, with that we've got the key to the gate. Sweet, not too bad. This area seems like it's gonna be a little bit bigger than before, so this might be a little bit longer of an episode if I'm not careful. 
or it won't matter either way. But we are going to probably be doing like two more and then I'll be done. I don't know how many episodes this will be. We'll see. Uh, I've kind of been just doing one continuous uh, set just for, the f just for the fun of it. All right, well, that's not working. Let's see if we can find another key somewhere. Might be a reward for something else. The little wizard's eyes, huh? Come on, is that it? The wizard's eyes are really relatively easy. It's not until you get to like the big ones that, that they uh, sort of take more than one hit. Though they are kind of annoying, I will give them that. Especially when they're in groups, because they just shoot from like right outside your distance. But I think as Oswald with his like really quick moving berserker skills, we should be fine. Oh, is that our foes? Okay, that's our foes on Crystal. I was just talking and I wasn't paying attention to what we were getting. Assault High. I think that's a passive skill. So I'm probably gonna, yeah, I'm gonna upgrade that as soon as possible. Increases damage dealt against foes according to the number in a chain. That's a, that's an incredibly good passive skill. I think I'm gonna just all in on that one, baby. Oh gosh, I have 14, uh, I guess you can call them level up points. I don't even know what to call them, honestly. But we should probably start investing in some of our stuff like power supply. All right, because we got like, what, seven, seven, that's 14. And I already have what, the, I have the armor on, right? Yeah, I have the dark armor. And reinforcement, I don't have enough for, but I do have enough for charm. Or recovery, I've increased the HP recovery by 20. I think I might want to do that. I'm wondering if that applies to the vampiric ring. I've never actually tested it before, now that I think about it. But either way, it shouldn't be that big of a deal with that. I should be able to get revival and maybe... No, I don't think I can get anything else with that. But revival should be fine. Revive with 10 HP a single time after you fall in battle. That's going to be super useful, considering I almost died before. I did die before. Oswald's the only time I've ever died, but that's only because his, his move set did not facilitate what I wanted very well. Alright, and with that, we've got the red shield key. God, there's a huge glare right on my screen, and it's kind of annoying me. Alright, well, I wonder if we're gonna have to make a choice between the chests we have to open here. Like last time. Alright, there we go. Apparently not. That did give us our last bag, which is really, really useful. And with that, let's move out of here. Let's see... I'm going to S rank that... Yeah, there we go. I guess I was just a little bit under-leveled last time. I think that's why I was doing so poorly. Or either that or I was still rusty. But I think I've gotten my I've gotten the hang of it now that I've been playing for a little while. Or maybe the enemies are just a lot easier to hit. And I'm not being frozen every 10 seconds. Ah, whatever. Take your pick, really. Either way, I'm, I feel like I'm doing better. I'm happy about it. Rusted key. And with that, we should be able to get into the sewers. Let's go. Oh god, I love it. This infinite combo I've, I've just happened to get into. Boom! Kill everybody in one in one combo. Super easy. Oh man, it's so much easier when they're like chest high with you. Is that a... Ooh, it's a text archive. Look at that. This should be relatively simple. Alchemy. There's a couple power stones and whatnot. Let's see, there is a teleport point over here, which makes me think that there's something important here. Hmm... They say something about a gate? You can't enter because the entrance is too new. Ah! Alright, so I gotta go back here when I, uh, if I figure out how to dwarf myself. Um, but first I gotta get to the second rest stop, and then we'll end off the episode. The second I get there, I'll probably end it, even if it's a little bit short. Sorry, everybody, if, if that's what ends up happening. Or if this episode's long, I'm also equally sorry. <laughs> but either way, pick up all the things. We're back outside, we're probably gonna end up going right back inside soon. Let's see, there's a, there's a bunch of barrels here. Is there like a key in one of these barrels, maybe? Eh, my god, I figured I wouldn't get that lucky. But there is going to be another red shield key we're going to need to get to get to the boss. All right, well, a bunch more wizards. Yay, just what I wanted to see. God, look at that chain. And not only that, because I, because I have the ability to get more damage by, based on the chain, 
Like when when I when I combo those group, big groups of enemies, it, my chain just goes off the charts, and I and I'm just doing massive amounts of extra damage. It's super good, man. What a good passive bonus I just got. It's super useful. All right, let's skip all that and get that cocoa. I think we got a lamb seed or whatever it's called. All right, let's let's take a break here. I think I'll end it off here. So. With that, I'd like to say thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. So, see you later, everybody.